MBT. We're using the BAOR. -A I'm having a hard time saying that lately. Module. And top of turn 10. Haven't put orders out yet. It's uh, pretty uh, much a sticky wicket situation. And I'm curious. I was curious about the morale situation for both sides. The Soviets have lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine vehicles. Their cohesion point limit is 12. Uh, the British uh, cohesion point limit is 11. This is a finely tuned, well-balanced, equally matched uh, scenario. But they have only uh, accrued three Actually, no, they've accrued four uh, cohesion point steps. And once you reach your cohesion point, this is an optional rule for morale. Uh, once you, uh, advance rule, once you uh, accrue those points, you are then forced to make morale checks on a wide range of situations. So uh, you're going to have to, and then what happens, and if you fail morale check, you either break or you hesitate. So there's there's two status there, or you're normal, right? So if you roll, like for the Brits, I think if you roll over a 70 uh, on a D100, you're fine. So 71 and up, you're fine. But otherwise, you know, one through 50, you're going to break. And then uh, 51 through 70, you're going to hesitate. And that's going to have negative impact upon your ability to do things, your ability to shoot, how you shoot, how effective your shooting is, your fire power is, and all that sort of fun stuff. So it's another layer of uh, detail, obviously, but it brings into play some of the, the quality aspects of combat, particularly in the modern format, right? It can get pretty hairy pretty quickly. And one of the things that if I was using all of the morale rules, which I... I only really just started thinking about it. I was intending to use them, use them, but I've added leaders for the first time, right? And one of the things with uh, with uh, the morale rules is commanders or command vehicles when they're destroyed. If you're in the same hex, you've got to make a check, and if uh, you're adjacent, there's other checks that need to be made and different sorts of things. I'm not sure what the impact is upon losing leaders because I've, in fact, lost two of the leaders. Uh, you know, now they're not really leaders, right? One one dude's a, a sergeant, right? Poor old Sergeant Harris copped it. And this guy, he's obviously a leader, young. I think he's a lieutenant or whatever it is, or a captain, one of the two. And um, that can be impactful. So I had missed some of that uh, nuance with the morale rules, but going, you know, going forward, we'll take care of that. But I was curious to see if, you know, given that the Soviets have one more tank than the uh, Brits do, uh, and that the Brits now only have two tanks in this particular area and one over here, one at a, at a frame over there. He's trying to knock out that uh, last vehicle there. And that would then allow me, if I can get across this open ground and not get shot up by this dude, uh, which I will try and shoot with that ATGM vehicle over there, but then there's another ATGM vehicle there. So we've got all sorts of difficulties for the British to try and uh, at least keep one bridge and not lose too many units. And it's turn 10. We're two thirds of the way through the scenario. So it's a touch and go. Uh, the Soviets have massed their tanks here. They've got four tanks in position. One's got a turret damage to it. And th with these three combined here, I think the uh, I think the the Brits could be in a spot of bother. That's why last turn they did a, sh uh, a short halt. Uh, so they fired, missed, <laughs> and, and backed up one hex to uh, get them out of harm's way because that uh, will not have a line of sight there. Now they have left, uh, uh, well, I think that's Captain Allen there in full cover with the squad with the Gustav. Not that that's going to do much against these front on, we'll see. So a little, little tricky here. Uh, we may be able to move the infantry up and, and hold this. And with from this hex here, we can get some uh, overwatch going perhaps or get a lucky shot on a tank from the side if they're trying to advance and take this bridge. Basically, if you recall, the, the Soviets are going to capture all the bridges to get 100 victory points. 
and they're currently a little bit behind right now because of the uh, accumulated losses, right? We can see the delta right there, uh, different point values. These are worth 167 points, I think, and these are worth uh, maybe 110, 130. But it all adds up, right? So fun games. I will be in touch soon. We'll see what happens in turn 10 and who I'm not even sure what orders I'm going to apply for this turn. But look forward to catching up with you soon.